smartwatch for your Android phones. So let's take a look at the smartwatch. I like this. This is a magnetic, so you can set. It's pretty powerful. Oh, you sit. It's nice. I like that. I use it all the time. It goes like this. And it sticks right there. So you can use a different. Uh... So what we get? So we get the watch. We get the instructions. And we had a cable to charge. Now, I mean, use it all the time. It lasts about five days with one charge. I think that's pretty good. Uh, and it, and it charges pretty fast too. All right. So now, to charge. You got to use this cable. Now, this cable it has, it has a magnetic on it. What it means. Be careful with this because this happened to me. I didn't know why my USB was run out of power. I have a problem with my devices. The problem is this. You see? You see that? See, already, already, already killed that screen. Because I, I just shut my USB for a second. So be careful with that. All right? So to charge it, it can only go one way. So if you look, if we look this way, the clock, let me see. That's where you turn it on. We turn over. Let's look this way if we try to put this backwards if we try to store this this is the way it goes if we store this way it will reject okay so you see it's rejected we we'll need to do it so technically the way to do it is the same side where you have the power we turn over now right there and I click on it you see how far it went it actually even open my all right right there and now it's charging now let's take that see it was charging before so let's take that out so it's the only the only tip i have to give you to think of with this and now like i said before it lasts about five days now the way it works we see the application there so you get the time here you get the day and the steps and supposed to the calories you burn you press again you turn it you turn it off you press again you turn it on to turn this whole thing off you hold it for about four seconds and it says goodbye to turn it back again you just hold it right over there and it says welcome back again so how you change the screen because here only like i said before only turn it on turn it off and goodbye you press right over here, right in the middle, right there. Here you got the counts, the steps, calories. You press again, heartbeat, steps, exercise, messages, dial, settings, and that's it. Now, this screen will not do anything. It has no extra configurations. Here, no extra configurations. Heartbeat, no extra configuration. A step, not either. It's extra configurations. No extra configurations. Exercise, yes. And exercise, you just hold there. For a little bit and you can start tracking automatic trucks walking but if you want to do running it has running basketball climbing and, and a bunch of stuff so let's go back into running you said for running you're going to press here it wait like three seconds that's it your phone vibrates it's ready and it start so now it counts you loop and and when you're running it's counting all that information that requires that you press again and again see we can reset it or if you leave it you press it for a little longer so now we press right over here we post it and we can save it or we delete it get it here now there hold it two seconds delete and we are back into the beginning so now you want to go next screen you press over here so exercise messages to read your messages, you press right over here. Press it, and let's wait a second. It should come up a message. And I got a message from Bitcoin. You got only one message right now. You can pre-set up that, all right? And that's it. I got just one message. Go back over there. Press one more time. Dial. Hey, let me go back to dial. Dial if you like. I like that screen. The other one is too small for me, but this all depends what people like. So we hit it right over there. We hold and we got this type. 
this kind three types or the analog version so whatever you like i like i like i like this one so we press it over here and we do it right there the next is the setting pretty simple settings we click we click we let it press for a little bit let it go see if you're gonna do any vibrates you can take that off brightness and reset now to let's say to for brightness you just hold here three seconds and now you can change it and if you hold it there one two three one two three when you set boom you press in the set it's pretty simple now to controller use metric or if you want to use feet or whatever you just click it here you want to make sure you hard there all day and Tron, see what happened with this. If I turn this off right now, what happened is the only way I can see my time if I press the center button like any other clock. But the other way around, when I move this way, see, I go this way. When I move this way, automatic comes on. You see, comes on. If I turn the, this one off, if I turn this one off, turn the, and then I have to actually click it here to see the time so whatever you want to use i use it both ways in the list of about five days you can have the smart clock and you can turn the smart clock and you set it and it kind of looks like your routine every time you wake up so sometimes can wake you up a little early if you have it in combination with those smart uh, sleep applications uh they can see or monitor your heart rate and maybe they wake you up in the right time and sometimes can be you know half an hour 20 minutes early than you were supposed to wake but you're supposed to wake you up when you are ready um, so you can do that you can set uh, different reminders if you want it will let you know if you have to keep moving every 15 minutes or 40 minutes if you set notification you can show all the notifications I guess this one it has to be some uh, Chinese type um, messaging QQ don't know what it is I use Facebook and others. If you click others, you will get a message on Android, like the message you get normally through Google Home or messages like whatever you follow, technology, or if you subscribe to pages, it will show up. Like you saw, show up on my Bitcoin there. Um, you can unsync it if you want or unbreak. Technically, what you do when you get this the first time, you just sync through the USB and you connect it. You can click data, you can upgrade the firmware. You can set the calendar. You can put the activities and back home. See, it will let you know the steps, the time cycle, whatever you sleep. It will, that's why it keeps track of that. Uh, my heart rate and what else? This is the device. This just to say my my in, information. Right now, that you can give it. You change it this manually yourself. So let me show you how to synchronize this when you do this first time. I'm going to unbind the form. So technically, you don't have to go into USB device and search for it. Normally, we have to go and search the way to do it. Because if you search the device there and you edit there, this thing will now, will now uh, link it. So what I'm going to do, we're going to bind the form. We click right over there. See, and you find it. Then you click here. And it will connect now the way we tend to use it and i did that mistake too you will go into uh, search and then you will go connect devices and then you will go and search try to pair for a new device and technically that's what i did the first time and then you try to connect say why my phone is not connecting so it gets connected to the software so do not bind it here do not search it for the first time here and the only thing you need to do is just come here and go. One is connect the automatic. And then when you're ready, you can go and, and synchronize data. You see, you can do that every day. Right now, they synchronize that in case it, it miss a connection. You just can synchronize all the data. That's simple as that. All right, so it's nice and pretty simple. Uh, a smartwatch, it will synchronize if you uh, into a sport and you want to measure the steps every day people they like to do 10,000 you're supposed to do 10,000 steps a day so this is a good way to do it have a smart watch you get notifications in the same time you can monitor the steps of running a bicycle